Good morning, Johnny. How are you today? Time to shave again. So what's on your mind this morning? You ready for another week? You ready to dig in, have some fun, get some good stuff done? I hope. So, one of the uh, things I thought I'd share with you this morning is, if you're going to school, I hope you all are, if you're teenagers, unless you're done with high school, then I hope you're considering college or other education that will help you learn more skills or gain more abilities and knowledge, experience. But in that process, usually you always have tests. You got tests in school. You got tests in college. You go shop classes. You got to prove what you know what you're doing. So those are tests. Well, life gives you tests too. And some things about tests... You can't always pick the timing. You know, when your teacher's ready to give you a test in school, he tells you the date, and you know the time that test is coming. And you got an opportunity to prepare for it. So, are you getting ready for the tests you know about? I used to, uh, in school, especially in the classes that I had the hardest time with. It could have been physics or math or whatever the class was. But I used to dread some of those tests because I knew they were coming. And especially right before. So like uh, I'd be doing my homework. I'd be doing all the stuff I was supposed to do or trying to do it all and getting ready for the tests. But the test was come, right? I mean, the test is going to be there. And I'd be worrying about it. And I'd do my best to study, to prepare, to practice, to uh, do the homework, to review it, sometimes with friends, which is a good strategy, by the way, because they'll have a different perspective than you. As long as you're actually doing the work and not distracting each other. But it would get to the point where I'd be coming up on the test like the day before and I'd be nervous and I'd be sweating and I'd be worried about it until I'd have to start telling myself you know what no matter what happens it's going to be over in 24 hours so for good, bad or ugly at least it'll be over and I can quit worrying about it now you may not worry like I did about your tests in school or elsewhere but a couple lessons out of that one make sure you prepare yourself do the best you can especially for those tests that you know are coming whether it's a math class or you know physics English whatever it is and you've got something coming prepare yourself even if you're worried about it let that be your motivation to do the preparation don't worry so much that you're not using your time well Sometimes that can slow you down. Too much worry, I mean. But realize that for good, bad, or ugly, it's going to be over eventually. So do the best you can to prepare, and then do the best you can in the test, and then move on. Life goes on. It doesn't end with one test. The thing about life is, you get tests your whole life long. When you get out of school, they're not so much formal tests as life tests. But you can do well at those too. And even if you get a C or a D or maybe you even flunk a test in life once in a while, 
good news is you can retake. <laughs> you get some do-overs. Sometimes you have to go back and learn the lesson better so you can do better the next time that test comes around. Jody, I got all confidence you can do well. Make sure you're doing your best to prepare for your tests, your exams, whether they're formal in school or whether it's how you're treating your mom or your siblings or your friends. Uh, those would be some of the informal tests in life. And always remember that I love you. You go have a great day.